I've just parked the car up down here. We're just on a little lay by at the side of Bamford Edge. And uh, just gonna go and have a little recce at this little spot scene on the map. Looks like quite a little secluded hideaway. So might be a disused quarry. Let's come and have a little recce up here, see what the crack was. And it's pretty decent, especially if you've got like shit kit and you want to hide out the wind. This is a mint little spot, looks well quiet. To get rid of these rocks, that'd be a little pitch here. Oh, that's a bloody shame, there's a big dirty rock in the middle. Oh, that'd be a nice view. Somewhere down here, I'll be able to get my tarp set up lovely in my bobcat. I think I'll go back down to the car. It's only about 20 minutes, if that. Grab my Bergen, and then lump the fucker up here. Won't be far off getting set up, I don't think. seen my last video you notice that one of my um, one of my gar lines I got some tie outs for the rear of the bobcat and one of them um, probably my fault didn't stick very well this one down here had come off this one was fine at this side but yeah this one had come off so if you look with, uh, just glued it all with the same glue as what we'd use for the um, for the air mat when I fixed the air mat. What I had left, I just spunked that all over the patch, glued it on. So, all being well, it should hold on. Proper solid though, I don't think that's going anywhere. So then, here's the inside. Right, as you can see, this tie out here is very, it's just exactly the same as the ones that's on the in outside, but as I've listed them on the inside. Right. And as I showed in my last video, it's real tricky to do with one hand, but these little clips just clip on there like that, look. Same on that side. These little clips on there, obviously one on that side, and they just go onto the tie outs, that's there. Another potential mod is this, uh, this piece here, it wants another tie out on here. To pull that out so you could peg that out down there but it's not a massive drama that's the inner up Staying, I think she do. Probably greatest 
sunset. But we'll take it. Inflating my ass. Sweet. Let's see how good that lasts. I mean, I don't like watching a little flame dance away, is there? So, as you can see outside, well you can't see fuck all, it's dicky dark. All you can see is the horizon. All my mates have gone, all the sheep have gone. There you go, two and a half degrees. Not too bad. Feel a little nip in the air, but not major. Mince beef hot pot fatigue. So anyhow, if you seen my last video, you would have noticed or seen that my air mat let me down. <clears throat> Slit in the top of it. Fuck knows how that got there like, because it was fine when I packed it away. Um, anyhow, yeah, so that's what we had. So I'll stick an overlay of the video of it in the bath. Um, see all the air coming out. So I just took the patch on it and uh, it's been stayed up all week rock hard and currently it's still pumped up now so keep these bad boys cross fingers um, we should have a nice warm comfortable sleep maybe tonight if we're lucky yeah 1.9 so it's not too bad at all is it nothing to report or in so far so I shall catch you in the morning. Where is it? Managed to get a good few hours sleep, feel quite refreshed. All day breakfast. Is that our chocolate pudding? I should have. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. We'll have breakfast for a change since it's breakfast time. That sky is fucking epic. Tie outs held up or not. This one is the one that I've glued. As you can see, that's held up beautiful. Lovely job, that. But this one has given up. These are uh, OEX Levy and sleeping bags. You'll sweat your bollocks off. If you're looking for a nice warm sleeping bag for these cold nights, I recommend this. It wasn't that cold last night, 
it was only down to about zero degrees or something thereabouts. We'll have a look on the um, full on metal proper when I get home. That's all going in there as a wire. I took this in my bag and liner. Just like so. You need a bag and liner, boys. If you're doing it this way. There we go. You see how that just filled out all that space at the bottom? Oh, we only need that little bit. I mark all my shit up. So, like I say, got a little sticker on there. That says socks, boxes, and a t shirt. Just so that I know what the fuck's in there. Don't think I'm going to be needing a food bag today. My Gore Tex busy bag. It's going to go in there now. Slippers, 25 quid off eBay. Just like rabbit boots. Apart from got down in, but they're properly toasted warm and you can cut them out outside without worrying about them. Electrical bag, and we just have stuff like a power bank in there, spare phone, batteries, bits and bobs of shit. You see me wearing this, this is just me Gore Tex windproof smock, a wash kit, toothbrush, toothpaste. Some wet wipes, some roll on deodorant, and most importantly, some talcum powder. On the night time when you're all sweaty, you can't beat a bit of talcum powder, it just makes it all nice and soft. You see the skies brightening up, the sun is shining. Wow, can't see, landed me. It's some of you fuckers won't know about this, because there's shit everywhere. This gash bag, aka rubbish bag to store all your fucking rubbish in that you bring right so when you've used it put it in a fucking bag and take the cunt home with you you brought it so take it foil mat this pillar passed like that. I thought I'd just show you a little tip, right? We your, we your tent pegs, because they obviously usually have a pointy end at one side. So when you put them in your bag, all you're doing is just stabbing little holes in your bag and eventually it'll just tear. Store them that way, look. Points up. And then it doesn't stab the bottom of your bag and rip it. Because we're just bugging out, we're just going to chuck everything in the bag and Also keep some extra different pegs within uh, your tent peg collection. These ones are some uh, Highlander Pro Force ones, fiberglass. It's supposed to be aluminous, but they're not really, but they do stand out in the dark. Yeah, they're good. I like them. These pegs are quite good as well. They do bend if you give them a bit of shit. On these bobcats, everyone's crying about the poles being really hard to put in. Listen, slacken off this. Slacken that all the way off. Because when it's tensioned, it's a bit hard to do, obviously. So slacken it all the way off and it's a lot easier. All right? Right, that's me all packed away. There we go, look. Just one last look at the site of Leave No Trace. Finished my coffee. Well, I haven't had a coffee yet. 
So, <coughs> bloody hell. Never gets easier carrying a bloody big bag in about, does it? If you're coming, that's what you're headed for. Following that path up there, and then find you in a nice pitch. Um, just leave no trace, lads. Not rocket science, is it? See the back end of my car there, sweet. Looks like we've got a part of a car. So if you're going up, you just want to be following this track. You just follow your nose all the way up this track. You can't go wrong. Wait, if you've managed to get this fucking far in the video, you might as well subscribe, mate. Subscribe, like, all that fancy shit, and we'll see you on the next one. Later's.